Milar Madim. Today we will discuss a very important topic of the disorders of the sex development and that is the Savar syndrome. Let us talk about its epidemiology. Savar syndrome is a rare disorder with an incidence in general population of about 1 in 80,000. And what is the etiology of the Savar syndrome? Savar syndrome is caused by the mutation in SRY gene on the Y chromosome. And it inhibits the differentiation of the embryonic gonads into testes. So here you can see the Y chromosome and the defective SRY gene. Let us talk about the carrier type of Savar syndrome. The patients of uh, Savar syndrome are XY females with the phenotype of female and the carrier type is 46XY. Let us talk about the clinical features of Savar syndrome. The clinical features include tall stature. The internal genitalia include small uterus and the fallopian tubes. When we talk about the external genitalia, these patients have female external genitalia with a vagina and large clitoris. And what about the gonads? These patients have got the absent ovaries or even if the ovaries are present, these are functional less or the uh, strict ovaries. That is why the Turner syndrome is considered to be an example of pure gonadal dystenesis or the complete gonadal dystenesis. So, what is the presentation of the Turner of the Savar syndrome? Uh, in short words, we would like to say that patients of Savar syndrome presents with primary amenorrhea and the absent secondary sexual characteristics. So, what are the diagnostic tests or the investigations done in the Savar syndrome? The LH and FSH levels are normal in these patients and when estrogen is done that is found to be decreased. Let us talk about its treatment. Very important to know that the treatment of Savar syndrome is done by hormone replacement therapy and in the long term these sort of patients need gonadectomy and why gonadectomy is done in these patients it's because when the streak ovaries are left in situ they carry a very high risk of gonadoblastoma so there is no point of keeping those gonades which are basically functionless so the best surgical option adopted in these patients is the surgical removal of these gonades so that brings us to the end of my presentation. It was a kind of short video related to Savar syndrome. Let me complete it with these golden words. Patience, persistence and perseverance are essential for achieving any goal, personal or professional. Success is the result of working the process that is necessary for the time that is required. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best in every step of your life. Allah Hafiz.